In this video, I will be providing you with the fundamentals that you can use to figure out the plumbing drain pipe sizes based off of the amount of fixture units or fixtures you have in your home. And a fixture is nothing more than a bathtub, toilet, or a sink. And the information in this video will be referring to single story homes only. And I will be providing you with other videos about two story or multi story homes in the future. And in hopes of trying to avoid confusing as many people as I possibly can, I need to point out that the information I'm going to provide you with will be based off of the area located within the inside of the house and not the building drain line. There are two different types of connections often referred to in plumbing. One would be the sewer. The next would be the drain line that is located outside of the house or the line that connects the sewer to the building. And the diameter of this pipe might need to be larger depending upon the slope and the distance or length of it. However, this one right here cannot be smaller than this one here. It can be larger, it just can't be smaller. And that goes for other pipes that are going to be connecting into it. For example, if this is a three inch line here, I cannot put a four inch line over here. However, I can use the same size or smaller pipe. So let's go ahead and install our form boards just to give us a point of reference here. And the first pipe we're going to be looking at will be the kitchen sink. And this will require an inch and a half pipe. However, I like to use a two inch pipe here to give me a little more insurance uh, to prevent the pipe from being clogged because you are going to have a little more solid waste from the kitchen going down this pipe here. Again, just something I like to do. And I also like to make this pipe a little larger if I'm going to be sharing it with a kitchen sink and a dishwasher. Another reason might be the fact that the dishwasher is two units and the sink is two units and an inch and a half pipe only allows you to have three units where a two inch pipe allows you to have six fixture units and this is something that's not going to be questioned by the building inspector. Another reason to go a little bit larger would be if you're not a hundred percent sure what pipe diameter you're going to need then I would suggest installing the bigger pipe or contacting a local plumber or your local building authorities, building department, for more information. So here we have a two inch drain dying into a three inch drain, three inch going this way towards our bathroom. Let's go ahead and head over there. And at the end of the line, we have a clean out. And make sure that you extend the same pipe diameter to the end here and use the appropriate clean out and not something smaller. So since I have a three inch line here, this is going to require a three inch clean out and won't have anything to do with our drain fixture units. However, we are going to have a bathtub on this side, bathtub on this side, and the fixture unit size for each bathtub is going to be two. And for a toilet, it will be three. You will have three fixture units for each toilet. And then we will have one fixture unit for each sink. So we will have a bathtub, toilet, sink in each bathroom. We're going to have a bathroom on this side of the wall. We're going to have another bathroom on this side of the wall. And the last thing we're going to need to consider will be our wash machine drain. And the wash machine drain will need a two inch drain pipe and we'll have two fixture units for that. And for some of you, you might not know what we were looking at. So let's just go ahead and take a look at where these fixture units will be located and uh, give you a better idea of what we were looking at. Here's the wash machine and the dryer located in the garage. And if you remember, we had a pipe coming up here, splitting off here and then going to the bathrooms. And then we had another pipe coming over and picking up the kitchen sink and the dishwasher. Let's just go ahead and zoom in there. Kitchen kitchen sink dishwasher and again we had a two inch pipe there just so we didn't have to worry about it and then two bathrooms that are going to be identical so we have a bathroom with a bathtub a toilet and a sink and the other one is exactly the same so let's go ahead and pan out here and add up all of our fixtures we have a kitchen sink and then we have a dishwasher and then we have two bathtubs 
two toilets, and two sinks. And then last on our list will be the wash machine. Next up, let's go ahead and add up the total amount of units. We have one kitchen sink providing us with two units, a dishwasher providing us with another two units, and then since we have two bathtubs at two units each, we're going to have four units, and then since we have two bathroom sinks at one unit each, we're going to have two units, and the same with the toilets. We're going to have two toilets, so two times three is going to be six units. And then last on the list, we will have two more units for our wash machine, providing us with a total of 18 units, allowing us to use a 3-inch pipe. However, I don't think I would use a 3-inch pipe on something like this because you're cutting it too close. I think I would change everything out to 4 inches. I would have a 4-inch drain going all the way to the end here. And the reason for that could be as simple as if you ever changed out one of the toilets that might have a higher water flow rate and a fixture unit rating of 5 in both of the bathrooms and you would be two fixture units over the rated size for a three inch pipe. And if you're not going to make any modifications to the house, then you don't have to worry about it. You would be allowed to build something like this, according to the building code book that I have referenced in the video, and that your local county, city, or state will allow you to install that size pipe. So I wouldn't get the cart ahead of the horse and say, hey, I'm putting a three inch pipe in here, when your local building department's gonna want a four inch pipe. And as always, if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them in the comment area. And if you learned something new, make sure you let us know by hitting the thumbs up button.